Hey, what's up guys? This is the water cooled rack mount server, which I'm actually surprised works. So some of you might remember this server from some of my earlier videos where I ran through the setup of all the components and then I tested it to see how well it ran. So if you want, go check out that video. But what you didn't know is that I changed this server from a video editing server to the live streaming server. So if you're not sure what I'm live streaming, go check out this video, which explains what I'm trying to achieve. So the problem I had was that this small NUC, it wasn't powerful enough for both the CPU and the graphics that's built into this computer. The live stream wasn't able to function properly. So we've ended up from going from this to this. So I'm gonna show you from the start, this is how we got here. All right guys, now here's the server. Now, as you can see, there is wires everywhere. Now, all the dust has been building up all over this server. It's all inside the radiator. So that's one of the things I'm gonna have to clean thoroughly. Now, inside the graphics card, there's dust all in there. Inside the power supply, there's dust. So what we need to do is pull everything apart. Now, I'm gonna take all the cables out. I'm gonna disconnect everything I can. Now, once all that's done, I'm going to cut the cable ties which are holding the motherboard down to that rack. And I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna clean all this dust off it. This is where I kinda of came into my first issue. Now, what I forgot to do when I first installed the water cooling setup on this server was I forgot to put a drain plug in the loop and what happened was I wasn't able to drain it inside the house so basically I had to take the entire rack out in one piece and try and drain it all outside in one go. So now that the dust is all cleaned off, I drained the system and you can see there's not much in the water which is good, it means that the radiator was flushed properly beforehand. Now we have the leftover computer bits ready to go, all we have to do is put it in that case. Now the case that I found, I got off eBay pretty cheap, it was an X mining rig, it has the three fans on the front which are designed to force the air through the system, we've got a power button and a reset and the two USBs, so once we open it up we can see inside here the slots for where the graphics cards will go and there's plenty of room for us to try and put this system in there. Now it does come with the cables to connect for the lights and that comes up into this little circuit board. We've also got the USB plugs for the front and those fan connectors. So as you can see, this is where the graphics cards would all be lined up, but we don't need that for this project. So what we're gonna do is take those three panels out and then we're going to be left with this. A blank easy space to work with. Now I did leave that center bar in because I think I'm gonna use it later on uh, when I put the radiator in. So here we go with the motherboard all lined up. I actually put a piece underneath the motherboard which was spare from before. Now it doesn't contact any of the metal which is good and it has that pad on the top. So all I have to do is mount that down. So I've just basically taped it down at the moment. I'm not too fussed. Once I've installed the motherboard, nothing really moves. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then we come into our next problem. The radiator, which is a 4x120 or a 480 radiator, doesn't fit inside the case. So I'm going to have to try and figure out a way of doing this. I looked at whether or not I could run it sideways uh, on a diagonal, upside down. I tried a bunch of different things uh, to try and make it fit. Mostly trying to look at the airflow was the biggest problem. Uh, didn't want to constrict the airflow and let the system overheat. So what I've come up with is this. Now basically it sits sideways but the only issue is, is how close it is to that RAM stick right there. The plastic is actually touching it so we'll have to come back to that. 
once we put the power supply in, it fits in there nice and snug. What I've also got here is two Titan X graphics cards, which I had lying around the house. And we're gonna replace that old graphics card out and we're gonna have to make that fit. So coming back to the radiator, what I actually ended up doing was moving the fan to the other side of the radiator instead of a pull, it was a push. And that actually got it away from that uh, ram stick there. So we basically solved that problem. Now, what I'm gonna do at the back of this case here is trim those bits of metal out, which will allow for the graphics card to be installed properly. Um, it's mainly because of those DVI ports. I still wanted to actually run a screen from it, so I wanted to keep it. So there you go, you can see I've cut it out there just using some tin snips. And what we're gonna do is pop those in and then the second graphics card and they fit. So let's start connecting up all the connectors. We've got the USB, we've got the power and the LED buttons and the reset button. And then now basically with everything sitting in there, power supply wired up to the motherboard, we just have to start running in all the cooling. So I did have one of these breakout boards which then you connect all your fans to and also the pump connects up to that. So all I had to do now is just start chopping up all of the piping just started cutting the plastic tubing and then adding them in now i'm just using the barb connectors uh, to, to hold this on uh, for most of the connectors and then just running the loop i did have a bunch of different connectors to come up with how i'm going to put in a drain plug this time and what i come up with this this contraption which is basically just a straight through and a tee off and then we have the, the valve piece which then we can drain off later on if we need to. Graphics cards are connected up and plumbed together so now all I need to do is finish off the rest of the hosing. So it is quite tight sometimes to actually connect up these hoses um, which is a bit of a pain but you just have to work with it. Now I did some leak tests as well by putting down the paper towel overnight. Now I am going to fill up this reservoir. It's going to run down through all the way into the radiator, run through the radiator, come back out into the first CPU, into the second CPU, first graphics card, second graphics card, and then all the way back and then return back into the reservoir slash pump. Now it's time to fill it up with the water. Uh, I just fill up the reservoir as I go through and then switch the pump on. You can do that by bypassing that start switch, uh, just as I've shown there on the ATX plug. And we just continue to do that to slowly fill it up with water and flush out any air. Now here I'm just taping up some of the, the holes on the case because I don't want air to be getting sucked in or pumped out where I don't want it to be. So I'm just taping those up at the moment. Now that everything's all tested, system's running fine. I did change those fans on the front because they were server fans and they were extremely loud. They did pump a lot of air, but I'll use them in a future video. And luckily on this motherboard, as it's booting up, it tells us what's going on. So if something is a problem, yeah, we'll know about it. Tighten the case lid back on and pull off the plastic. And then we're ready to install. So here you have it, sitting on top of that hard drive server that I've showed in a earlier video. Everything's all wired up through to the network. Yeah, basically I just cut, put the cover back on that server rack so all the dust gets stopped in that dust filter on the side. Uh, and now that everything's all set up, I can connect up to the internet and start streaming again. As you can see, there's no more computer in the background, there's no more dust, there's no more noise, and we freed up some space so we can put another computer there so we can play some multiplayer games. Now, hopefully that's the last time I have to move that server and therefore have to restart that live stream. And speaking of the live stream, go check it out. There's a link in the description below. That's about it from me. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.